Hey, this is Complexity Medicine. Welcome to Wanderings and Wonderings, Reveries, Remembrances, and Reflections in Health and Healing, an ongoing series of spontaneous and otherwise unplanned discussions about health, both in our lives and within the world at large. We hope to foster the telling of non-linear, context-rich, and passionate stories that capture a sense of relationship and connectivity to life. We hope you walk away with a head bursting with ideas, a heart overflowing, or at the very least, a beautiful sense of confusion. I am artist Andy McClure, and this is Dr. William Sutherland, your host. All right, I am Dr. William Sutherland, and this is artist Andy McClure, and we'd like to welcome you to our premier um, inaugural Wanderings and Wonderings podcast. And uh, we have two of our favorite people on the planet here with us today, the Keenies, Hillary and Bradford Keeney. And, uh, you know, as we're starting, this isn't just a, a simple interview. This is a, this is a, this is a reunion. And um, this is a chance for Andy and I to celebrate two people that have a very, very special place in our heart and have been central to our thinking, uh, to our artistic expression, to our sense of embodiment, and uh, to our our health and well-being as we move through. And so we're so glad to have them here today. So welcome, Hillary. Welcome, Brad. Thank you. And, Thank um, you very much. Yeah. And I, I'm just, uh, I had a couple sort of thoughts coming in today, and I just sort of, um, um, you know, just, it just really is a starting point, just really is a um, putting that first piece of pigment onto a blank canvas. Um, one notion that I, there's a metaphor that's getting bantered around the internet a lot these days, particularly with COVID and Zoom and virtual conversations, and this idea of um, the virtual campfire. And the one thing that I've always noticed is it never feels like a campfire, <laughs> you know, like in the traditional sense of the indigenous people that we've got to be with. I mean, truly a fire where the camp, the village is around, the cook fire, the ceremonial fire, that sense of being able to have either, you know, just a flowing, open conversation that has that free listening and that free sharing or those free silences that come up, you know, underneath the starlit skies. and. So there was a part of me, and, and maybe it's nostalgia, but maybe it's also just a, an emergent sense of, you know, how we find that sense of, you know, that kind of sharing again through these distances in these odd times, you know, with these new technologies. And so, you know, I I, I am holding that notion of, um, you know, of of the listening position, particularly of the, 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 the both of the storytelling, but also of the story listening around the campfire. And then one other thought that I had coming in today. And uh, it came, we were, uh, Andy and I had a chance to be uh, in the Anishinaabe Ojibwe Sweat Lodge again this week. And um, at the start of the sweat, and these are, this is a tradition that a number of different elders will have. And they'll say that all sweat lodges are turtle lodges. I mean, obviously they have the shape of the shell and the form and, you know, it looks like a turtle. And often where they'll bring in the first seven rocks and they'll create a petroform of those red hot rocks, those grandfathers in the pit. And they'll create a, they'll put a, a rock in the middle and they'll say, you know, this is the uh, the creator's rock. And uh, they'll put a rock in the west and the east and create a straight line. And then they bring in the other four and put in the legs of, for each of the directions. And those seven rocks creates this petroform of the turtle. But they give this lovely teaching. They say the first rock is the present moment, this living moment right here where we are right now in the ceremony. And as they go to the West, they say this rock is representative of the ancestors, all of those that have been and um, because of their efforts and their abilities to be in this world, we are here now and the ancestors are with us. And there's that last rock, which is the future, the unborn. And they acknowledge that the, that third rock along that trail is you know, all those that are yet to be born and how our movements here right now have those ripples and uh, you know set those wakes into motion. Um, that will ultimately be received and be the legacy of the unborn and this idea of bringing all of those three positions into that one living moment and the reason i thought about that i was just uh, you know knowing that we guys were talking to you guys today it's just the depth of that in your work and uh, and that's where there's sort of i think uh, we're looking to leave the space for 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 your sharing the 
the depth of all of the places that you've been and that those ancestral lineages and lines and those beautiful, wonderful teachers, many of which they've passed and have, have left this world, but you know, the richness of those traditions um, and how you integrate all of that with your own living vision and your own relationship in this living moment right now. Um, and I'm sure there's gonna be lots of space to talk about your sacred aesthetics pro um, um, process and, and, and community and all the things coming forth. And, and, and lastly, just in the time that we're living, the sense of the, the message of what this is for the unborn, for the message for Andy and I's children, and someday our children's children, and, and you know where these types of things are going. And so that was kind of the reflection that I had leading up to this talk this week. And I'll put that as my first stone. And I don't know, Andy, what do you, is there any sort of, <laughs> you know, your own sort of things to? Yeah, I have a, I have a bunch of things, but I, I yeah, I want to hear, um, I, I want to hear where, um, where that landed. So. Yeah. So with that, I, uh, that was my, uh, my, my, uh, my, my starting, you know, my, my, my invitation. So. Well, you know, when you say the word fire to us, mm -hmm. we hear a metaphor that we know well, that we feel most, possibly most inspired by. Mm -hmm. One that holds a lot of meaning and excitement. That's right. This notion of fire. Say it, girl. And I think when it comes to conversation, mm -hmm. I might add that one of the funny things about a campfire is that no one's really there to talk. They're actually there to hang out around a fire. Shanta. So it gives you something Shanta. else to pay attention to and warm yourself by and mess around with. And then conversation just sort of happens by accident. Hey, and, and that mm -hmm. might be one of the things that's missing when we have meetings is that we have to look at each other and know what we're going to talk about and be very conversation focused mm -hmm. as opposed to all hanging out around a fire and then just letting those things sort of accidentally stumble in. But I would also say that because we have been doing quite a bit of experimentation over the last year during this pandemic with how to light a fire how and to share light a fire. How to that light a fire. Yes, warmth with other people through this square that is this big. <laughs> Those people talking about the virtual fire, maybe they forgot to bring their match. I think they did. Forgot to bring a match. <laughs> yeah. There's a perfect match for every medium. Mm -hmm. But you know, when they also speak about a word that sounded to me like rock, I think of rock and roll. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll. That's a way we strike a match. Mm -hmm. Without any uh, music for us, it's pretty hard to feel any kind of fire within. Ah. So we um, don't talk anymore. <laughs> a, a keyboard and a horn. Mm -hmm. A and a rattle. sour lemon chew that helps wake up the room, wake up the room. North, south, east, and west, up and down, up and down, everywhere, all around, all around, all around. We just want to radiate, radiate, radiate what? Joy. Joy. We call it just be nice, joy. Warmth some spark 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 some spark heat in the dark times which is to say numinous please some emotion numinous emotion passion for all those things that you raised ancient stones <laughs> ancestors <laughs> the here and now <laughs> and what may come after talking about time now. Uh-oh. That was another word. They were talking about the ancestors. Mm. The before, the before times. We call this room we're in right now, this whole house, the spirit house of New Orleans. We do. Uh-huh. Oh, we're on top of two burial grounds, brother. <laughs> yeah, long time ago, the Chapatulas Indians were here. This was their burial ground, we were told. Today you might have heard of Chapatulas Indians because they're the Mardi Gras Indians. 
at least one of the tribes, Chapa Tula's Mardi Gras tribes, <laughs> engines, here they come. That's what they say, what they say when they're in the streets. But after them, when the slaves came, this was all speaking of maple syrup before we began. This was a sugar plane, sugar cane. Sugar plane cane tantation, plane. Plane tantation. <laughs> I want that plane tains. Mm. <laughs> it was. And then it became a burial ground for the African slaves. So we're on top of two cemeteries. And the neighbors see spirits walking in front of our house. And we dream of people knocking on the door in the night. And we go down inside our dream and open and say hello. And they give us something, a word, a number, a gift. We're a little full of mojo here. Full of mojo here. Ancestors everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Thanks for saying stones. Mm. Thanks for saying fire. Mm -hmm. And reminding us of the ancestors. Hello, hello, hi, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. hello to both of you. Hello, hello. And hello, <laughs> hello. We're talking to you. The Maple the Syrup Brothers. Maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Maple syrup. Maple tree. Maple tree. Maple, 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 maple. Climb that tree all the way to heaven. Climb that maple tree. Mm -hmm. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. Quite the treat. Quite the treat. Hello, hello. Thanks for inviting us today. Hey. We don't want to be those guys that comes and pours the water on the fire. <laughs> so we're beyond smoldering now. I think we got some flames and certainly there's smoke. So we can get we can heat it up on the Oh, well, I think we, I think we need to. I think we can. I think you are. I think you have. <laughs> awesome. Next question, please. <laughs> How about mixed feeling? You know, I yes. don't have a question, but I gotta tell you, I'm just, I am loving, I'm feeling some love. I'm loving awesome. being back with you guys. So it's that's, a statement, that's a declaration. About. There's that some love, love in the house. That There's love is, uh, actually these days we call it happy electricity. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to say sacred ecstasy and all kinds of fancy words like sake and home and holy vibration. spirit, but now we just say happy electricity. Happy electricity. <laughs> Feel the happy electricity. Mm -hmm. Happy electricity and day. Ashtate. And we know what medicine's <laughs> about. Let's get right to the core. Medicine's about waking up a dead mackerel. <laughs> Everybody, so many dead mackerels. Mm. You know, they're the folks that go, when's the last time you were around a fire? <laughs> it's so cold. Light it up. Cold Anybody have mackerels. a match? Anyone have a What's match? What's a match? What is a match? That's an interesting question. Resurrecting the dead mackerels requires happy electricity. Mm -hmm. You need an electrical doctor. You do. To raise a dead mackerel. You need a plug. Power station. In the temple of the electrical. De Raise the dead mackerel. Defibrillator. Shuma <laughs> time. <laughs> yes. How about electric yes. eel? <laughs> oh, electric <Holy> mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> That puts the simplicity in complexity medicine. Yes, it bringing does. back the electricity. <laughs> and we've gone from the dead mackerel to the yes. holy mackerel. AC, DC. Mm -hmm. Alternating current. Today we say piso, piso, electricity got the spark. As a right blue got the spark. Mm -hmm. As a right blue in the Janae satin painting, Tibetan paintings, all the medieval monasteries. Boy, Michelangelo wanted that. As a right blue, Lapis he called it back then because they had to go to. Afghanistan in the mines, the oldest mines, biggest mines in the world. Get that blue rock out, because it's the blue. As a right on the painting makes it spiritual. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, as a right out, as a right. Deep blue sea, deep 
blue sea. High sky in between the sky and the sea. As a right electricity piece of electricity. Doctors of electricity you are. Mm. If you're complex, you doctor with happy electricity. Wake up! The macaroons. I believe that takes us out of the ancient fire times into the age of electricity. Oh, I thought you were going to say we're going to go to the frying pan and cook us some <laughs> fish. Some fishies to fish Ah, uh, yes, the Iron Age. <laughs> the, the Iron Age. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Skillet Age. <laughs> Fill it in the skillet. <laughs> You're too serious. Too serious. Yes. We, we need shirts with macros. The room is way too serious. <laughs> way too serious. Yeah. Way too, although, although, although I, I, I think I have a fish. Very good. Ah. I see. I, I, I believe I have a fish. You know what's, what is, makes that a sacred fish? Oh, I thought, almost. I thought it lost its head. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready. It's right. That's right. beautiful. What do you have in there? Yes, what is in there? There is. Are those, are those the prescriptions? <laughs> these, are the pres these are the prescriptions. That I, these are the prescriptions to be handed out by the stick. Ah. <laughs> some, some dried lichens. Mm. Some shells of various powdered sort. Stones. Stones and pine cones. Hmm. So what is the most important object in the fish right now? Will you think about first of all? Will you think about the answer? Will you think about, or will you close your eyes and reach in and pull it out? Oh, mm. Even better, Andy. Dare yeah. you do the pulling? Oh, sure. Most important object right now. This fish is this. Um, it's a stone, but I, I think of it more as a. As a hat. <laughs> yes, a stone looking for a tone. A stone looking for a tone, indeed. <laughs> it's so interesting that they, they keep pulling our favorite metaphors because this year's mm -hmm. um, group uh, in our guild mm -hmm. has been dreaming on these sacred stones. Yes. We've been all about the stones this we year. We have been. We call them the stone prophets because yes. they were the prophets who slept on the stones. There's ah, the, yes. The biblical prophet, remember him? Jacob. Jacob slept on a stone. Dreamt of the ladder. Mm -hmm. And Edgar Casey slept on Azurite. Mm -hmm. That's where we got Azurite, because of one of our sleeping prophets. So you pull out a stone, it's like, and just this week, we dreamed a series of dreams, and the final dream in that series was a dream in which the one on high in the world of first creation, which is, of course, the word of poetic imagination, the word I said, not world, the world, word, world, word, where, world, 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 the worlds, the worlds, the dream <laughs> the worlds. came and said, I am the one who sent those dreams. And my name is Ovid. Yes, Ovid of Rome, the ancient one. Who author wrote Metamorphoses. Of Metamorphoses. And in Metamorphoses, there's the story of a couple, some say sort of like these two rascals. And they were instructed to take the stones and toss them over their shoulder. To recreate the world. To recreate the world. After the great flood so that the hardness would turn soft again. So when we say turning the stones into tones, mm -hmm. that brings again fire <laughs> in the bones. And that's where we began today. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. 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 We, amen. We like to combine it, Bill. You'll appreciate this. We say. Ah, we say amen voot. Voot. Amen voot. Oh, I do. Because I do. Because sensei the I great Seiki Jutsu master, <laughs> you know, when she gave Seiki yeah. transmission, she said voot. Voot. So, mm -hmm. yeah. we've blended them as we like to do. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Wow. When I was a little kid, I used to, uh, uh, I used to collect stones, of course, like, I think like a lot of people do, you know, for a lot of people walking on the beach, it's more about picking up the stones than it is about being at the beach. It's, there's something, you know, time and space and all that held energy is in each one of those stones. And I, I remember a, a student once sent to me, uh, uh, did, did, do, do you ever work with stones or do you like stones? And I, and I just blurted out because this was true. I said when I was a little kid, and I used to pick up stones and I used to hold them on my forehead. And, uh, and the student said to me, of course you did. <laughs> I thought it was like one of the best things because they didn't say, why did you do that? Or they didn't say that's crazy or anything. They just said, of course you did. Of course you did. You know, like they totally understood that that made perfect sense coming from me uh yeah <laughs> i want you to know that um uh of course it makes perfect of course sense. it makes of perfect course sense <laughs> from one rock head yeah. to another yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like chickens walking into a house makes perfect sense to have. makes perfect sense <laughs> ah someone's listening chickens oh, someone's keeping a tab oh. i love it i love it i love it yeah. Well, it's a flat stone, isn't it? Yeah, it's a flat stone. So that's a skipping stone. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. How about yeah. both of you? I loved throwing those flat stones to watch them skip across the pond. Yeah. Did you do St that? I still do. Yeah. Every 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 summer pilgrimage down to Lake Huron, and I still try to outbeat my kids. That's where I first skipped stones was in Lake Huron. That's right. That's right. Ah. That's true. The actual lake. The Great Lake. The Great you know, Lake Huron. As I can imagine all of us throwing those stones and watching them skip, mm. it brings back a, a kind of body memory of when it really has a nice skip, you actually, f you actually feel the tug in your body. You actually feel, as that thing skips, there's a part of you moving with it. Yeah. And it, it really is, dare I get into that kind of contemporary, you know, spirit babble. Although it's fun every once in a while. You know, it's, it feels like an energy, a real energy pulling on you. You feel that? It, it is an actual out of body experience as you skip <laughs> wow. across that water with that Let's stone. Let's go astral. <laughs> Let's go astral. <laughs> or seagull, as the case may be in Lake yeah. Huron. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us making astrals out of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping around, yes. sounding stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? No. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you guys. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Because mm -hmm. we only yeah. get this crazy when we feel the love. Mm. Mm. I love that. Mm. This is, this is, um, you know, this is just. Uh, I'm really without words, <laughs> and I'm without them. But I'm macros. 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 <laughs> macros are waiting. <laughs> we're, we're, we're resuscitated macros now. <laughs> Maybe not fully alive yet, but we're flopping. <laughs> and, and even better, we're floundering. Oh, oh man! I warm you up. It's gonna get, gonna get dangerous. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you know this is how those who suffer need to feel when they come and request help that they need to feel this kind of playfulness this kind of big love that enables them to be more like a trout than a dead mackerel so they have no fear of swimming upstream and so whatever it is 
we've caught, whatever kind of fish we've caught, when you mentioned fire and you mentioned stone and rock. And time. And time. All of that. Ancestors, thank you too. Whatever this feeling is we now have in this real space, because I'm going to say everyday reality assumed not to be virtual feels more virtual than what we feel now in this medium. So whatever we're feeling, that's what we want others to feel who come and say, can you help? Because inside of that emotion, something can be set in motion that's always over our head. And we participate in the mystery of anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Let's call that the new medicine. Anything, anything can, can happen, happen medicine. Anything can happen sure. medicine. Can you give me a anything can happen medicine? Anything can happen medicine. Just like when you guys paint. Anything can happen. Anything can arise. Anything, 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 anything. Anything can happen. That's when you're in the room of mystery. Mm, it's steak. What I'm loving, I am really going back to that loving. Oh, you know, my. and 25 minutes later, I, you know, what I love is every time we find our way back to you guys, we remember that we've forgotten that we've forgotten and that we need to remember to remember. And here we are remembering again. And it all just feels like no time has passed at all. And mm -hmm. we're exactly where we need to be. And we're right where we've always been. And, and it's in that, I mean, you've guys got, it's, it's, you've guys got the best metaphors, you know, the big room and those heated places and all of those things that, you know, start to come forward. And, oh yeah, I just love that we're remembering to remember. And I can't even believe that I forgot that I had forgot. And here we are. Yes, we're here together because we're hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hungry for a meat a four. A metaphor. <laughs> yes, that is our new metaphor, That's our new metaphor. for metaphor. For metaphor. For a metaphor that has some... Mm, mm, Something to bite into. We call them metaphors. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> tasty. I'll have a steak in that. I'll have a steak in that. <laughs> You can make all the mistakes you want. Uh, <laughs> Actually, that reminds me... That's cybernetic, isn't it? That reminds me that that Brad had an extraordinary vision in the last couple months where a great healer from Brazil that you probably oh, know yes. about because you're familiar with the healers that Brad has visited, Joao de Carvalho de Fernandes in Brazil, and he dreamed that he was preparing a beautiful cut of Brazilian steak in a frying pan. He was grilling it perfectly and then he poured many pieces of garlic into the pan and he created this wonderful sauce with all the meat and the char and the garlic. And the lesson that he said in the dream was to make sure that you pour the right base emotion, the right flavor, the right sauce upon which you lay the meat. And so came the teaching to us speaking of frying pans and steak, that before we do anything, it's important to pour the right base of emotion, because that's what, what will make all the rest of the metaphors taste perfectly right. Pour the right base. base. Pour the right base. Then pour the bone. Anything less won't taste sweet. Won't taste as sweet. Will not set the fire that wakes up the stones and brings ancestral tones alive again. Hello. Maple trees, oh maple trees, we dream of thee, we count to three, 
One, two, three. Let's stay in mystery. Mystery. I adore thee. On this day, and ye, and Bill will fulfill that sweet medicine. Oh, yes. Feel it mm -hmm. with us now. Look over their head and see what their hands can create when they don't know what they're going to do. They will paint you too to make you part of three of mystery, of mystery, mystery. Today um, we went out for lunch just a few blocks down here, and and uh, while we were waiting for the food, we went outside and, and stood in the sun. And the restaurant is right in front of the cemetery here in Guelph, and my grandmother and grandfather and mother are are buried in that in that ceremony in that mm -hmm. cemetery. And uh, nice look. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, my mom just has this little stone, and whenever I whenever I visit her, I, I leave a stone, a little stone, uh, sitting on um, on the grave. Um, so this this stone here is probably I'm going to take it from Bill, and and I'm going to pay a little visit today and and drop it off. And it's just that lovely, like having that food, and having that thought, and having that moment in the sun today, and and just you know, like this feels like ceremony like it always does when we're together with you guys uh yeah i love it love it love it yeah. and it's wonderful to hear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you recognize that stone is your new cornerstone build add more and expand the room why not the universe says well because one stone and another will kill everything 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 one stone mm -hmm. one tone one bone after another mm -hmm. climbing the ladder climbing the rope That's everything. Uh -huh. mm. Amen. <laughs> it might be nice because it comes into my mind as a wild thought that all these important word stones that have dropped into this session, at least some of them you write on that stone. Mm -hmm. Ancestors, fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Waking up dead mackerel. <laughs> Whatever uh -huh. you choose. Whichever ones we all shared together. Mm -hmm. So this time together goes with the stone. It can be the stone catcher. It can be the rune catcher. It can be the love catcher. It can be this mystery today. Caught. Held in the stone forevermore. Sent to eternity. Through ancestral ways. Lovely. Thank you you guys were singing and moving and sharing and just like andy's mind went to his mother and his grandparents mine went to my maternal grandmother and she her love language is cooking she loved she could she Ooh. cooked up the most tender roasts mm. and the most wonderful turkeys and the great hams like all of the meats you know those were the smells and the sauces i mean because no roast was finished until the gravy was just perfectly complete Say it. Uh huh. It's so I will. 
taste Green it. Taste food it. And taste your it. Grandmother in the room. Taste it. And, and, and the old fashioned gravy religion. Oh yeah, that was it. Old fashioned gravy. That was her religion. That was her religion. You know, that was yeah. the sacred sauce. Never mind the secret sauce. Mm -hmm. And I realized, though, as you're singing, there was the one thing. There was the one ingredient that, no matter how perfect that meat and sauce was, mm -hmm. it wasn't complete until she served it up to us. Oh, Until so she was the hostess and she served it up. And Keeney's, we're loving what you're serving up here. We're <laughs> loving what you, yeah. you know, these fine cuts and these beautiful sauces, but how you're yeah. serving them, you know, so gently and kindly to Andy and I and to all who's going to be listening, you know. Um, Sounds like your grandmother uh -huh. was quite the ceremonialist and mojo doctor. <laughs> oh, she was. <laughs> she was. <laughs> In this in the sweat lodge, when they uh, when they when they bring in the stones, uh, we say greetings, uh, grandfather, greetings, grandmother. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's right. All of them. All of them. Mm. The great grandfathers, grandmothers. Great, 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 great. That's how you build a rope to God. Mm -hmm. All the dancing, holding each other's backs, cross time from the beginning to now. The ancestors show up in so many mysterious ways, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta grab something here, one sec. Oh, we blew Bill out of the room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Come back. See if you remember this. Oh. You remember this. All right. I don't know if you guys remember, but you gifted me a New Orleans gift. I, I uh, with those old great bookshops and oh, uh, yes. and uh, you know all the places of antiques and mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, both treasures and trinkets and uh, I don't know if you remember. Remember this one that you sent oh, my way, the magical man, yes. the magical man of mirth. And you, it was a naming. It wasn't just a, it wasn't just a gifting. It was a naming. You said yes. from here on in, you'll be known as Triple M, the magical man of mirth. And I think I've been living such a mirthless life. <laughs> and now here we are today and I'm feeling the arrival the re-arrival or perhaps the book just showed up for the first time the arrival of some mirth <laughs> the rebirth of the mirth, rebirth of mirth. <laughs> i like that the re-mirth brass band yes M -M -M -M. it's coming back he's back yeah let's once you open it up and do yes it. just open it up at random and see see what comes hey. in this special moment of time shall i Mm. A few words with them will enable us to make our plans. When needed, you shall be summoned. Forward march. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let me do that once more. Yes. A few words Just a with them will enable us to make our plans. When needed, you shall be summoned. Forward march. Woo! Lordy. He just heard March. Look what blew in on that wind. Something blew in holy. Something holy, holy came. Summoned? Something was summoned? Thank you, Lord. I'm not embarrassed now that I'm turning 70 in two weeks to say thank you, Lord. For that blessing, 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 blessing coming through. Mm. I think something holy was said there. We have to live in holy time. Wait till we're caught. Wait in holy time. Till not, we're summoned. Till we're summoned, not be in a hurry. Not be pushy not be too willful, but thy will be done. So I say thank you for that holy moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! 
Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that room's full of all kinds of New Orleans stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you must mm -hmm. be in New Orleans mm -hmm. the way that these things show up. Yeah. They changed <laughs> places. Let's, let's go outside and see if there's some maple. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yes. I imagine there's a second line going on outside our door yeah, right now. There it is. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Now, it's interesting about that first and second line, which is really only known to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. You want to tell them about the first and second line? Yes, well, it's interesting when people have, have one of those parades down here. The first line is the band who actually has the permit, you know, the permission officially to be leading a parade. They are the first line and they are the brass band. And then the second line is everyone who follows and dances down the street. And the beautiful thing about that is that just everyone shows up, anyone who hears about it, and then a sort of unofficial second line parade comes through. So it's, you gotta have two lines. You can't just have one line. You have to have two lines. That's right. One pulling the other. One, the main line, if you will, the line of the music, the people keeping the rhythm. Mm -hmm. and we would call that like having the spiritual main line. And then the second line is all the spontaneous eruption of dance and, and unofficial clapping and shouting and singing and marching that goes along behind it. Yes. They say the second line is how you make a transient eternal community. Mm -hmm. The singing and the That's hollering right. and dancing with the brass band and the first line makes a community. Now they also say down here that a second line parade is like a jazz funeral without a body. <laughs> a jazz funeral without a body. Mm -hmm. Sort of sounds like it ought to be a definition of complexity medicine. <laughs> down here we'd say complexity medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I Calm. like that too. Hexity, hexity, put a nice hex. Put some oh, hex yeah. in that complex. <laughs> Nothing like a jazz funeral. Way out of the convex. wakes up the dead. You ever see one? That casket, there's all the mourning. Oh man, do they mourn. All throughout the Caribbean that morning, I've seen people just jump on top of the body in the church. So, and they had to pull them off. There's so much mourning going on. And the songs are so sad. Because mm. they lost a dear loved one. Everyone feeling sadness about them. Somewhere came a note that didn't fit. What's that? You hear that? Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, they pick up the casket. Time to take it outside. And they rock it. They dance the casket to wake up the dead. <laughs> you see them swinging it. They, they lift the whole casket over their head, swinging it. Mm -hmm. Man, it's wild. Then you got a second line. Gonna raise the dead, gonna raise the dead, gonna raise the dead in macaroons, cause we are practitioners of the aha complexity medicine. Ha 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 the with 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 holy bread. I 
think we need to create a new syncretic location. You know, we've heard of syncretic spirituality where various religions blend, become something, you know, that's an interesting kind of mojo gumbo mix. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have a syncretic geography? So we'll have the maple syrup mm -hmm. of your land. You can have the jazz funeral mm -hmm. and the second line. I like that. Gumbo treats. Muffins yeah. made of maple. <laughs> oh, yes. That is all. Mmm, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Something with some maple syrup sauce. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Woo. My, my, my. You guys are spoiling us for all others. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know you got a fish you can reach into. Mm hmm <laughs> this is true. This is true. There it is. There it is. And you got a book to... you can open. This is also true. Should be a new tradition. Mm -hmm. Every yes. show you reach inside the fish and see you. If you can feed the multitude mm -hmm. with one fish. And then you open that mystical man of mirth, yeah. holy book. Take a divination. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dive Pull out a word. In, dive in. A sentence. Dive into the divination. Catch something. Maybe you need a little fishing pole that you just drag over the page. Catch uh, a word. I think it'd benefit from having paint brushes in their hands. I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. I don't That's know what, what we're missing. Do with it. They might actually. Whenever they think there ain't anything to say, they can paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> paint the air, paint the other, paint the canvas, paint the sand, paint the sky, paint the grandmothers, paint the stones, paint that fish. It needs some azurite to make it all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We paint. A part of that fish that's on your table. Are you clear? You have a clear fish that could benefit from a dab of paint. Yes. Some blue. A dab Some of blue. opacity. <laughs> Some azurite blue. Uh -huh. Azurite. <laughs> yes. Azurite. Mm -hmm. Makes it right. Oh, it's very interesting, speaking of medicine. We already gave you the clue as to why Azariah helped us help others with the blues. And that is that one of our sleeping prophets, who we mentioned, Mr. Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet, he really had a time when he hit very hard times, hard as a rock went bankrupt. You can Google it. You'll see the New York Times story where they arrested him for medical malpractice. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest clairvoyant, psychic... Mm -hmm. Of his time. <clears throat> entire or history of North ever. America. Mm -hmm. You know, this is yes, outrageous. So he'd been arrested and charged with uh, medical malpractice. He'd, he'd lost his home. His uh, reputation. He lost everything. And he was ready to just call it quits. And so he had his uh, moment of need in prayer. Mm -hmm. He was a church-going man. Taught Sunday school. And he had himself a vision in which the other side of the veil said to him, Mr. Casey, you need to leave tomorrow, get in your car, drive to Bisbee, Arizona, to an old copper mine. Find yourself some azurite. That's right, find yourself some azurite. He did, got in the car. I think maybe the most miraculous part of the story is what happened, dear. Well, they, a 
he brought a friend with him, a young man, and they drove thousands and thousands of miles. And they had flat tires over and over again. Several times a day. So they kept it's having to get out and fix the tire and replace the tire. And of course, the temptation was to wonder if perhaps this journey was ill-fated. However, the crossroads for him was knowing that he did trust the original visionary direction to he take sure the did. journey. That's right. So he wasn't going to let his trickster mind start worrying that these flat tires were some kind of bad sign. Nothing gonna stop him. Nothing! So they, they drove on. Nothing gonna Despite stop him. Despite all the flat tires, they mm. followed the visionary advice and they drove on and they made Push it. Day. They made it <sighs> to that copper mine outside of Bisbee, Arizona. And there they found themselves some azurite. And they put some in their palms. And they laid down on the desert ground. And they slept. On the stove. Mm -hmm. And Casey had an extraordinary vision. Ooh. An extraordinary vision. Where his mother came to him and handed him a silver dollar. Now what's extraordinary about this? is that when he came out of the vision, the silver dollar was still in his hand. Now that is unusual even for Edgar Casey, because it's not common, even for people very strong in the spirit, to have something actually materialize that comes through the other side. And he knew that this was miraculous, and that he realized his mother was telling him in part, don't worry about the money. Follow your vision. Stay on the right track. Mm -hmm. And he did. And the rest, hush, as we say, was not history. It was eternity. And certainly mystery. <laughs> certainly mystery. Hence, mm -hmm. put some azurite on your fish. <laughs> <laughs> Desert fish. For medical reasons. <laughs> That's a prescription. Yes. The most complex time. <laughs> time. Time. Yes. Conhexity medicine. <laughs> times of great complexity. <laughs> oh, love. Angst and vexity. Don't forget your sake. Don't forget your sake. Sakey break? Sakey break. Us a sakey shaky break. <laughs> sakey Say it shaky your break. way. Yes. You got a way of saying it. We say it's time to sit down and do the psyche shaky. <laughs> That's also a syncretic location. Every now and then you just have to put a little English countryside. Pour a little English tea in the shaky shaky. As we sit in the bench, on the bench, between our two worlds. <laughs> the bench is growing bigger. And bigger. This is our large, shaky bench behind here. <laughs> my, my, my. Wow. Lateral shaky. Lateral shaky. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should go get my stone pillow. Give me a second. I'll be back. <laughs> there he goes. He's Did gone. you realize that Bill had so many interesting objets just waiting to be gathered? Yeah, it's it's kind of like he learned from somebody. I don't know. <laughs> there he is. My, you know, my. He's built he ran the all the way to right? Montreal to get that. He did. It was Split bad. second, he's back. I know. Look, look, it's Bill and I. <laughs> the proportions are correct. It's all in. It's all in how it skips. <laughs> Sadly, Bill, I've sunk like a it, rock. It's not supposed to be, Bill, it ain't supposed to be so heavy. Rather. It's not supposed to be so heavy. He makes a big splash. <laughs> but I do make a big splash. Yes. Uh.
<laughs> that is a stone pillow. Yeah. It is a stone pillow. Mm. Looks like a balloon from here. Mm. It's very light. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a helium filled stone. <laughs> it's filled with air. It's the air from Casey's tires. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it went. Because the air is divine. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. <laughs> you just can't get away from like, enough cybernetics, can you? <laughs> He's a cybernetic fool. <laughs> Or is he a cybernetic tool? But either way, <laughs> yeah. he goes around and around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're also embodying something that we should go back in time and share with the ancestors. Because some of them would have adored receiving this kind of admission to a different kind of floor where more humor, humor can be poured, poured and adored. Something about being too serious. Get yes. rid of those old humors and replacing them with humor. Mm -hmm. Say it. Sanguinous, melancholy, bile. Say it. Say it! Mm -hmm. Looking for a new kind of blood. Mm -hmm. Something that flows, something that's hot. Mm -hmm. Not that something that's down and black and sad, but something that rises and raises us and brings forth the dead, whether they be mackerels or old jazz musicians that have found their time. But I'm looking for a new kind of humor, whether it be one or four in this complexity medicine, not a Hippocrates kind of humor, not a hypocritical kind of humor, hmm. but a humor that heats, a humor that smiles. The humor that brings us together, despite the miles, mm. into this translocation. It's a destination. And thus he performed a mm. transfusion. Mm. <laughs> mm. Brought about a Cassian transportation. Mm. Somehow we, someday, must teach people how to say the prayers. Mm -hmm. How to say the prayers. How to say their prayers. How to say their prayers. I know when the sick come, you can't just <clears throat> say, you need to pray. You somehow have to radiate that mm -hmm. without the word. Mm -hmm. Sometimes without any words. Mm -hmm. It just has to be radiated. What you were saying, Dr. Bill, Dr. Andy, mm -hmm. and Dr. Fish, <laughs> what you were all saying, in the mirth of it, is that there needs to be a birth of a new kind of prayer. A radiation prayer. A radiation prayer. Ray. prayer. Yeah, we need to give every patient radiation. <laughs> mm. Prayer, rare, prayer, rare, 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 radiation. Mm. Rare prayers served radiation. up rare. Radiation. 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 Radiate. <laughs> Radiate. <laughs> Forget oh. about levitate. Mm. Radiate. Mm. Radiate. Radiate what? Happy! Elon Medicine. Mm. Radiate. Radiate! Radiate. Radiate such that we fascinate. Mm-hmm. 
back to being hungry again. All this eight. <laughs> yes. Mm. We gravitate. Oh. <laughs> 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 Towards oh. each other. <laughs> uh huh. No. That gravy just won't let us go. No, we're getting mm. serious. Gravitating. Mm. So serious. Very Gravitating. Grave. It's very grave. Yeah. The doctor is searching for a tone. Uh -huh. yeah. Searching for my tone. Hunting. Searching. Hunting for tone. There it is. Hunting for Tracking. tone. Tracking the tone. Mm. But it's all about not too much and not too little, isn't it? Mm. This is why things aren't simple. The answer is simple. Stop it! <laughs> the answer is simple. Do it! <laughs> but the execution is complex. Not too much. Not too little. The right time. The right volume. The right tone. The right rhythm. The right change. There's the complexity in the changing. The difference between a dead mackerel and a trout swimming upstream is simple to explain, but complex to create, recreate, reform, and reborn. And it's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy to heal. When you feel, when you feel something holy in your blood, in your bones. The amor and the That pulls. Let it pull. Let it pull. So our prayer for the two rascals of you. Our prayer for the bones and blood and flesh of you. Our prayer for the ring, ring and style of you is that you have a little bit of triple mirth that you don't forget the fish that you don't forget. I already forgot. The Azerite dot. That's right. Azerite dot. Those people coming on the virtual reality, hoping to be fed something from your grandmother, hoping to be read something from that magical book. Something to be heard, some medicine to find from the belly of the whale, of that fish, waiting to find how to turn the blues into Azerite. Help them make, help them make, help them make the Azerite that makes it right, Azerite that makes it right, Azerite that makes it right. It's sleeping with the ancestors. Wake him up, wake him up, wake him up, wake him wake him, 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 wake up, wake up, wake, 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 come on, now this life is so short, so short, so short. Come 
Concentrate the loot just right, not too much, not too little, make it right. We pray for you, we pray for you, pray for you. To paint the world, paint the world, paint the world, paint the world, paint the world with maple syrup, with sounds, sounds, sound, made to form, made to form, made to form, made to form, stone, 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 stone. Fire in your bones, fire in your bones, fire in your bones. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bill, Dr. Andy, Dr. Bill, Dr. Andy, Dr. Fish, Dr. Triple M of the big little green green book. Not to be read, better to be fed. Mm -hmm. That is all, that is all, that is all, that is all, that is all. Being small, being small, smaller, small, small. Be small to be, feel a part of it all. Hmm. Oh, yes. I feel doctored. Beautiful uh, fish you got there. <laughs> mm. You caught one. Mm. We caught one. Mm. We caught one. Or it caught us. Mm. I'm not sure who's pulling new on this thread. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I feel like I've gone to medical school today. Complexity, complexity medical school. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. And I've enjoyed so much being with the deans of this school. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. It's so, so, much. so exhilarating and satisfying to attend your graduation today. <laughs> and, uh, to Certainly. Paint the world and mm -hmm. apply the colors of hexology. It'll bring a new, joyful doxology to those who come, who've forgotten that they need us all. Mm. To help them express that they long for what we all long for. Being small enough to feel being a part of it all. Mm. Mm -hmm. Small pebble, even smaller than the one Andy chose. Even smaller than that one. Yeah. Yeah. Grain of sand. That's the real Kalahari. Uh huh. Grain of sand. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Love, Love you guys. You guys. Too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. For inviting us to share this. We wish you mm -hmm. all the mojo and blessings that mm -hmm. the Spirit House of New Orleans can whirl and throw to you. <laughs> May it come inside. May it fly oh. away, sending you a hurricane, <laughs> a hurricane <laughs> wind of electricity. <laughs> we hope that our Sweet maple sap from this Canadian <laughs> north finds its way down that map. Yes! yes. Down sap, through the I rivers and the tributaries <laughs> to the Mississippi. And maybe that sweetness will feed your fish. Feed your fish. <laughs> <laughs> Makes good paint. Makes good paint. Yeah. Thank you. you you've been a, a part of my classroom for 20 years. Mm. Um, so 
<laughs> I know that some of my students are going to watch this, and for some of them, it'll be the first time seeing us interact, and I'm sure they're going to go, oh, so that's <laughs> where that comes from. That's those ideas that sometimes um, spring forth in the classroom. And uh, yeah, it's just a real honor to uh, to speak with you both today and to, and to share in this again and to be in that river again uh, and feel this way again. So yeah, really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, this is a big year for Andy too. This was, uh, he retired this past summer. So uh, a, life, a lifetime of uh, teaching rap there in terms of, <laughs> wow, now you really get to begin. Yes. Yeah, I'll just, now it started. <laughs> a new lifetime fabulous. of teaching. <laughs> the new lifetime of teaching has yeah. begun. Yeah. Wonderful. Right now I'm holding down two jobs. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, all right. right. Come on, brother. You can do more than that. Okay, three or four. <laughs> okay, maple syrup maker. We got a few more in there. Rock <laughs> collector. <laughs> I have to say, one thing I still, I still, maybe we'll we'll wrap up in a second here too. But I just, this is one that just I still say to myself on a regular basis. Uh, it's a story for whoever you know dare listen to this uh, after you know in the days to come. So at my lowest, you know, some of my lowest times, and you know, I've I've reached out, you know, to you both, and in, in, in often in my lowest moments. And I remember one time I was like, oh, I don't know if I can. You know, I, was, I think I proposed to you that I was going to cut back on the number of patients I saw and the amount of work I was doing because I was feeling so awful. And I'll never forget your advice. I actually hear the voice and tell it to myself often. I said, your, your advice was, actually, I think you should take on more patients. <laughs> I think you should see twice as many people as you're seeing now. <laughs> And so on those days, I just remind myself, I probably should be seeing twice as many people as I'm seeing now. <laughs> That's wonderful advice. <laughs> yeah, like stop it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so good. So good. All right. Well, I will. Um, I'm going to wrap it up with uh, gratitude. And I really do. You know, when it, if you guys, you know, if, if uh, we will certainly reach out. And but if you, uh, you know, awake one night. Uh, from a dream with a complexity medicine teaching that uh, needs to be stowed uh, for health in the world, you know, we will, we are happy to um, find the translocation and the juxtaposition of our rooms here anytime you'd like. And uh, there is a never ending opening invitation uh, for your voices, uh, you know, in, in, in this complexity medicine house we're looking to, to build when we have a cornerstone to start with today. So thank, thank you, you. Thank so you much. both so much. Yeah. Yes. Big hugs to both of you, all three of you, all four of you. All, <laughs> all your stones, all your all bones. Yeah. Yes. And tones. And, and maple fishes. trees as well. And maple trees. <laughs> <laughs>